gentlemen, we'd like to welcome you to this week's episode of Maryland Barbers and Stylish United for Health. We are here in shop at Nouveau uh, Haircut Barbershop, and uh, if you would like to tell the audience about uh, a little bit about your company and uh, how long you've been doing this and where you're located. Yes, uh, we are located in New Hampshire Avenue, South New Hampshire Avenue, Sakuma Park. The name of the show is Nouveau Hair. We have been here for 14 years. We have a ton of plants, and we have plants everywhere. Wow. Our community knows us better. Yeah. So we are here today to let the community know what we can offer. Wow. So thanks for you people coming today. Wow. You hear that? He, he's trying to he's trying to give but he's trying to give more to his community than just haircut, ladies and gentlemen. He's trying to give valuable information to his community. He's trying to make his shop an anchor in his community. Uh, he's trying to save lives in his community. Uh, so we thank you for making yourself and your shop uh, available uh, so that we can pass this information out to give the community um, a best chance at, at, at making a full health decision. So uh, your role is vital, uh, our role is vital, and together uh, we want to go ahead and get this information out so we can take uh, black holes out of horns and, and go ahead and get it out the way here. So. Uh, once again, we'd like to thank you uh, for making yourself available. Uh, we know that I know you said you've been in the uh, been in the uh, in the business for over 14 years here, um, and it's really important for you to be a help a help uh, anchor in in your community here. Uh, so, do you have did you hear of any uh, any kinds of myths or misinformation? Has any of your clients mentioned anything about anything going on with COVID related that you may think of a myth? Yes, yeah, so a lot of people have the misinformation and when they come in, since we have the fire there, we try to educate them, especially to our community. We make them to understand that what they hear is not what it is, because the COVID is real. And we make them, we educate them also to take care of themselves as well as taking care of the community. Wow. Uh, when I was recruiting this shop here, I was explaining some of the incentives to go along with it. And Mr. Ernst's take was, it's not about the money. He just wanted the information. He wanted the information so he could have that. Um, I came in shop the first week. Um, there was really, uh, we were trying to find places to put uh, the information to put the collateral. I came in the second week. It is readily available for anyone who walks in his waiting room to grab a pamphlet. Uh, to, so that they can get uh, some information regarding COVID-19 vaccine. So, um, have you uh, have you heard? What's the craziest thing you've heard about COVID-19? Sure, what's lot the craziest thing? A lot of crazy things. That okay, they come to the barber shop, they will, will contaminate the wow. COVID and all those things. But uh, a lot of information going on, which is not true, because it's about uh, uh, taking care of community. And if we understand and follow the science. I think we will be perfect and the community will be saved. Wow. Wow. You know what? Well, we thank you. We most definitely thank you for making yourself available. Um, I know that you're here for your community. And uh, we're about to jump into this next phase real quick. It's going to be a true or false question. I'm not going to try to trip you up or throw you off with anything. But I just want our audience to see the type of individuals that we are recruiting into the network. They do more than just cut hair and give shape ups. I think this guy is going to go ahead and get 100% on this quest. Uh, so without further ado, give me one second. Let me just step off and grab our questions here. All right, Mr. Arnold, I'm going to go ahead and give us a shake here. All right, you can go ahead and grab your first question. You can just pass that to me, please. Thank you. I don't have an idea what is going on. All right, Mr. Arnold, so this is a true-false question, all right? So true-false, you can take over-the-counter over pain medicine after you get a COVID-19 vaccine. It's true. That most definitely is true, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Over-the-counter pain medicine is not recommended before your vaccination, but you can take it for any discomfort you may have from side effects after getting vaccinated. Right. Really, really good uh, point of knowledge there. Down one. Let's see. Uh, go ahead and grab another one there. All right. Thank you, sir. All right, Mr. Arnold. Let's see. I couldn't get you on one. Let's see if we can get you on the second one here. All right. Oh, this one always trips people up. So listen closely, all right? Long-term side effects of COVID-19 vaccine are common. That most definitely is false. You are correct. Uh, side effects uh, that could cause a long-term health problem are extremely unlikely 
following any vaccine, including COVID-19 vaccines. Uh, years of research and vaccine safety monitoring on other vaccines show that side effects almost always happen within six weeks of getting the vaccine. So anyone who was uh, scared about that being, they've heard how bad the side effects were, don't believe the hype. Nothing serious. You may have a little sore arm, a little headache for an hour or so, but nothing like these uh, anti-vaxxers are trying to get you to believe. All right, so Mr. Ernest, we're going to go ahead and grab another one. All right, perfect. Thank you. We're almost uh, through this. All right. So here's one that a lot of people, they also don't know about. I, I, I want to see, I'm going to test your knowledge on this one here. COVID-19 vaccines can affect your DNA. Is that true or false? It's false. He said that like he's a scientist and not a, not a barber, ladies and gentlemen. It most definitely is false. Uh, the materials in COVID-19 vaccines never enter the nucleus of the cell, which is where DNA is located. Therefore, they do not interact with your DNA or change it in any way. Really good information there. And you will be surprised at the amount of people that really think that these vaccines affect their DNA. I mean, I can understand what they may think that that's scientifically possible, but because it does not enter the nucleus, of that cell that has been debunked, ladies and gentlemen. All right. So, question number four, Mr. Arnold, true or false? COVID vaccines are not recommended for pregnant people. That's false. That most definitely is false. Uh, in fact, CDC recommends that if you are pregnant, you should receive a COVID-19 vaccine. Uh, they now recommend, uh, CDC now recommends pregnant people get vaccinated. Pregnant people are at a higher risk for severe illness from COVID-19. So getting a vaccine can protect pregnant people from complications that can affect them or their baby. Right. So unfortunately, all good things must come to an end. Time flies when we are having fun. We are down to the fifth and final question there. You just go ahead and grab that lucky number five. All right, and let's see what this question is here. I think you may, I think you may know the answer to this. This one is pretty easy, all right? True or false, Mr. Ernie? Teenagers can get a COVID-19 vaccine. Yes. <laughs> that is most definitely true. So in terms for Moderna, uh, anyone uh, 12 or older, they can get a COVID-19 vaccine. Uh, for Pfizer, if you are five and up, you can get your Pfizer vaccine, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. So teenagers, and in certain instances, uh, the younger ones can uh, get a COVID-19 vaccine. So uh, congratulations on your five for five, 100% and get your elbow on that, no problem. Uh, so in closing, uh, would you like to share anything with your community here? Yes, uh, we uh Nibohe Barber Shop, all the barbers, including the uh, I mean the staff, we are calling our community to come and know the truth about this COVID and to go and get the vaccine. Because if you take it, you save me and you save the community. Wow, thank you. Can you let our community know where they can come get this good information and a great haircut? Can you let them know one more time for me, please? Yes, uh such uh, 337 Nihamsha Avenue, Nibohe. You can come there and you can get information. We have a pamphlet, we have other things, other tools that can educate you about the COVID but, uh, vaccine. So, each anyone who hear it, you can come to the barber shop. We are always available to tell you more about the COVID. There you are, ladies and gentlemen, from the owner's mouth. He is inviting you all to come down here and get your head cut. He is inviting you to come down here to get your information. He's inviting you all to come down here and save lives, ladies and gentlemen. That's all it comes down to. So, Mr. Ernest, thank you once again for being an anchor in the community. We appreciate you joining Maryland Barbers and Stylists United for Help, and we look forward to working with you, all right? Thank you. Give you a vote. All right. See you all next time. All right. Thank you.